Woo. Oh my goodness. These are seriously like the coolest shoes ever. I just got my size 12 in. They are amazing. They are beautiful. I can't wait to wear these. I, I, I probably won't wear them today. They would go great with this hoodie. Look at this. You got the little pink flower, pink. You even got the green laces. I could put the green lace. I don't know how they look with green laces. Look at the back of my hoodie too. It has flowers on the back. It's super sick. That would go great with this. It's from Friday nights. I think it's sold out, so I don't think you can buy it anymore, except it's an awesome hoodie. Is it weird to eat peanut butter just straight off the spoon? It's not. That was a rhetorical question. It's not weird at all. For the fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tag when it's time to fall back. For the rough rug and raw way, this nigga J is the game. I think it's decided. I'm just gonna wear these, the bread forest every day until the new ones come out because these are amazing. I haven't broken these out in a while. These are like, what year did these come out? In 2011, 2013, something like that. I can't wait till the new ones come out, but until they come out, I am wearing these. Oh yeah, by the way, can you guys do me a huge favor? Josh, who helps me film a lot of my videos, he has a YouTube channel too. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description. Go check that out, he makes awesome content, and I know he'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to his channel. NBA playoffs start this weekend, which is amazing. Celtics are winning everything, do not at me, because they are. Just kidding, they're probably gonna get knocked out in the second round, I love them, but... So this is a beautiful, wonderful, quiet afternoon. I figured, you know what, there's only one acceptable thing to do. Yeah, you guys guessed it. Let's go to Livestock, because they got some sick new sneakers this weekend. So, these came out this weekend. I've not seen these in person yet. These are really, really cool. I honestly thought these would be a little bit more popular than they were. Uh, apparently, there's still have a lot of sizes left, which is good, because it gives me time to deliberate whether I want them or not. They're $260, which is why I need to deliberate. The colors are awesome. I love the green, the blue, the chroma of like beige to this dark black through all the gold and the tan and the brown. Really, really cool with that clear icy bottom, the blue air unit. These are a really well done shoe. It's just $260 is a lot of money. Nike, lower your prices please and thank you because if these are $210, $215, $220, probably buy these right away. That extra 40 bucks though, I'm gonna have to think about these. Fingers crossed that those things end up going on sale. I'd love to pick those up, but 260 plus tax, we're looking at like 300, 295, something like that. A lot of money. The first set of games just finished for the NBA playoffs. Here is my synopsis for them. Detroit, Milwaukee, Thon Maker started in an NBA playoff game. Denver Spurs, uh, the casual NBA fan can name exactly zero players on those rosters. Indiana, Boston, the only people that enjoyed that series were Boston Celtics fans, and then even then half of them fell asleep watching that game. Portland OKC, Damian Lillard is really, really good, and Russell Westbrook cannot hit a three to save his life. Golden State LA Clippers, the Clippers are fun, but that's a sweep. Rockets Jazz, uh, Daniel House has to be the best two-way contract of all time. Magic against the Raptors, uh, the Raptors lost game one of a playoff series. I don't know why anyone is surprised by this. And finally, Brooklyn, Philadelphia. Wow. Those have been my NBA playoff synopsis. Synopses, synopsis sis. What's the plural of synopsis? Well, at least the weather's nice out today. It is the middle of April, and we have a blizzard in Winnipeg today. So, when I was in LA last month with Brandon, I bought a couple pairs of shoes. I only brought a duffel bag with me. I don't know why I didn't bring a suitcase, but I couldn't fit a pair of the Yeezys that I bought in my suitcase. So, Brandon put them in his suitcase, and then Brandon went to like Malaysia or Thailand or something. I don't know where he went. He went somewhere, and I haven't been able to get the shoes. And I've been waiting to get the shoes. He's finally back, so we're gonna go get the shoes. Hey, cat. You have a cat outside your house. Thank you, sir. Of course. There's Dope. socks in there. I think those are yours. How is Malaysia or China or wherever you are? good, man. They lost my luggage, so I had to buy a new camera, as you know. So, got it, and yeah. Remember how it was snowing outside an hour and a half ago? 
I do not understand weather in Canada. It makes zero sense. It is sunny and 55 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Second stop of the day, we are going to pick up another pair of shoes that I'm buying from a buddy of mine. Really, really excited to get these ones. I'm buying my third pair of these. I don't know why I'm getting three pairs of them, but this is 100% the last pair that I'm getting of them. I just really, really like how this shoe looks. <sighs> okay, got the shoes, and the best part of this is that I actually got them for 30% under retail. This is the greatest day of my life. Okay, maybe not like the greatest day of my life, but you know, it's it's up there. 30% under retail. Here are the Yeezys I was picking up from Brandon's place. First off, in case you guys were not sure what these are, they are the Geodes. These are so hard to open up with one hand, one sec. These things are criminally underrated. I mean, this is an amazing pair of shoes. I've worn these already. They are super comfortable. They look really, really good. They still uh, look completely brand new, and I put in a lot of miles on these. Probably walked 10, 15 miles the first day that I wore these when I was in Los Angeles. They are so sick, and they're going for way under to retail. Buy yourself a pair now. These things are awesome. Okay, enough of the Yeezys. We have already seen these. Let's take a look at these. I think most of you guys could probably tell from the box or from, whoa, why do I always drop shoes? There's also this weird conspiracy that I fake dropping the shoes. Nope, I'm just clumsy. What I was trying to say is you could probably see through the bag that this is a pair of Jordan 1s. It is a pair of Jordan 1s, and it is another pair of the Crimson Tint Jordan 1s. We, uh, yeah, we bought three pairs of these. Two pairs of size 12, so I got my double up. I'm happy with that, and then we got the pair of 13s that we got on release day because they didn't release size 12s at the store, which sucked, but we still got two pairs of size 12s. I paid retail for the 13, I paid retail for the first pair of size 12s, and I paid 30% off of retail for this pair. I think you guys can probably figure out where I got this from. I am ecstatic. I mean, this is an amazing deal on one of the coolest shoes to come out this year in my mind. I'm just a sucker for Jordan 1s. I'm indiscriminately in love with Jordan 1s that have good color blocking. I don't even care what the colors are. If it's good color blocking, I'm going to buy them. Like, I'm not a fan of this, like, pasty, weird, like, skin color. Like, it's almost the same color as my skin. If I didn't go outside for a month, it, it would be the exact same color as my skin. I'm not a fan of that color so much. I do like pink. This is not super, super pink, but I just love the way the colors are put on this shoe with the black and the color. It's super simple, and I love how it looks, and I could buy these for ever. So now that I actually have these, my final pair of size 12s in hand, I think it's only right that we give you guys a bit of an on-foot look at these, just so you guys can get an opinion of whether you like how they look or you don't like how they look when someone is rocking them on feet. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate every single one of you. You are my favorite people on earth. I've had a lot of fun filming today's video, to be completely honest with you, talking basketball with you guys, going sneaker shopping with you guys, catching up with name brand, and of course, picking up some awesome sneakers. So as always, thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Make sure to hit that like button. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. I know we have a lot of new people joining the channel every day lately, and that is awesome to see. I'm glad you guys want to watch more videos. And of course, please do me a favor and just just uh, go down to the comment section, look down there, stare, stare down at your keyboard, and uh, contemplate briefly why Steven is still here. And then once you're done contemplating why Steven is still here, let me know why you think Steven is still here down in the comment section below because maybe if we can determine why Steven is still here, then we can get rid of Steven. So just think a little bit, figure out why in your opinion Steven is still here, comment that down in the comment section below, and hopefully we can find a solution to this problem. That being said, I love you guys, and here's the on-foot look. <laughs>